Authorities say Emmanuel Espinoza drove three hours from the University of Florida to his mother's home in Frostproof. When his mother, Elvia Espinoza, opened the door to greet him, he began stabbing her to death. Yes, tell me exactly what happened. I told someone. Okay, I've got help on the way. That's the 911 call 21-year-old Emmanuel Espinoza calmly made after police say he stabbed and killed his mother, Elvia Espinoza. According to Polk County Sheriff's Office, the pre-med student arrived to his mother's home on Deer Road just after 2 p.m. Saturday. Investigators say Emmanuel drove down from Gainesville to Frostproof to attend an event for his grandfather and was planning to stay at his mother's house. Police say when his mother answered the front door, Emmanuel stabbed her at least 70 times. Neighbors I spoke with tell me the small town is devastated. Total shock and disbelief and just trying to think why. Authorities say Emmanuel immediately called 911 and confessed, telling police his mother got on his nerves for years. When we said, do you love her? He said, oh yeah, I love her. Do y'all get along? Yeah, eight out of ten we get along. But I've wanted to kill her for years, and I made up my mind as I drove from Gainesville, today is the day. 46-year-old Elvia Espinoza was a mother of three. She was a second grade teacher at Ben Hill Griffin Elementary School. Her former students tell me she was sweet and encouraging. She is the reason why I am semi-good at fractions of math. But she is the main reason why I want to become an astrophysicist. To honor Ms. Espinoza's life, students and staff were asked to wear bright colors on Monday. Parents tell me they will always cherish the positive impact she had on their children. All the other teachers at New York, you know, her family members, and um, yeah, just we want them to know that she's, you know, she's always been thought of. We always talked very fondly, you know, about her over the years. I'm trying to get through this without crying, so, um, yeah. Investigators say Emmanuel has no history of mental illness or prior arrest. He's being charged with first-degree murder. I'm Polk County reporter Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.